Deer mice often infest rural buildings, and their presence presents a risk for a rare but potentially fatal disease known as hantavirus cardiopulmonary syndrome. Prevention of rodent problems requires an integrative pest management strategy, including exclusion and good housekeeping. In the short term, existing rodents should be removed with snap traps. This video demonstrates the proper setting and placement of snap traps for controlling mice indoors. Place traps in areas where mice have been seen or where signs of mouse activity have been noted. Signs include mouse feces, chewed or gnawed on food wrappers or paper products, small nests made of bits of paper, plastic, or vegetation, found in drawers, cabinets, closets, under furniture, etc. More information on this topic is presented in a related video. For trapping, there are a variety of traps available. We do not recommend live trapping mice or using glue boards because trapped mice often defecate and urinate, which can potentially spread hantavirus. We recommend using either snap traps or container type traps that kill captured mice. We will use this mouse snap trap to demonstrate proper trap baiting, setting, and placement. Keep in mind that deer mice are relatively small and larger rat traps will not be effective for mouse control. First, bait the trap. A variety of baits can be used, but peanut butter is attractive and not easily removed from the bait tray. A small amount of peanut butter spread over the tray is enough. Too much bait may make the trap difficult to set and trip. Once baited, this trap is set or armed by pulling the spring-loaded bar back, pulling the release arm over the bar, and hooking it to the bait tray. Some traps have different settings to make the trigger more or less sensitive. When placing a snap trap, keep in mind that mice typically avoid open areas and tend to move along walls or other vertical surfaces. Place the snap trap perpendicular to these surfaces so it makes a T with the wall, with the bait tray closest to the wall. This enables the trap to catch mice running in either direction along the wall. The number of traps to set should increase with the size of the area and the level of infestation, but at a minimum set at least two snap traps in a room. Traps should not be set where they will be easily disturbed by people working in the building or accessible to children or pets. Traps should be checked regularly to remove mice or to rebate and reset as needed. If trapping is initially unsuccessful, move the traps to different locations, and or try other types of bait. If trapping is still unsuccessful, keep in mind that the initial evidence of rodent activity that prompted the trapping, such as rodent droppings or nests, may be old evidence, and mice may no longer inhabit the structure. When a mouse is caught in a snap trap, it should be handled and disposed of properly to minimize the threat of hantavirus. The trap should be decontaminated prior to reuse. Another video will cover these topics in more detail.